MATLAB system block lets you use system objects in Simulink. System objects enable you to implement algorithms written in MATLAB language. To do this, as a first step, just drag the MATLAB system block from the user defined functions library into your Simulink model. In the block dialog, you can just browse for an existing system object file or create a new one. For this example, I will create an integer delay system object using the basic template. As you can see, a MATLAB editor window pops up and it's pre-populated with the minimum set of functions required to define a system object with discrete state. I can now save this newly created system object file. The template can now be modified to implement the required functionality. In this example, I would like the block to delay the input stream by n samples. Adding this text as comments here will serve as the block's description. So I'll start by defining the variables for input stream and number of samples. To do this, under properties, I will add a tunable parameter initial output and define a non-tunable parameter n. I'll also specify the discrete state here. The next step is to define the method starting with initializing the discrete states. Add MATLAB code that you would like to implement at the initialization stage. Next, add the code that you'd like the block to execute at every time step. Here, I'm adding MATLAB code that delays the input by n samples. Now you can verify the behavior of this block within Simulink. Notice that there are two modes that you can select for simulation. Choosing interpreted execution method causes the block to be simulated using MATLAB engine, whereas with code generation, code is generated for all those MATLAB functions that are supported for code generation, and the generated code is used for simulation. Code generation mode has potentially better performance over interpreted execution mode but has limited number of supported MATLAB functions. I can now simulate the model and look at the behavior of this block.